doing another weekend instead of a weekly vlog this week. Um, I woke up a few hours ago and I had a really rough night tonight. <laughs> um, I couldn't fall asleep until 3 a.m. because a car alarm was going off um, outside my house. It was driving me crazy and I was really worried it wasn't gonna stop at all, but thankfully it did after over two hours. So yeah, I woke up feeling very shattered and then I went to the toilet and I looked myself in the mirror and I had blood all over my lips. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if my lip just like cracked overnight or something. I don't think it is because my lips are not like dry. So my guess is I probably bit myself while sleeping <laughs> so that was interesting uh, but yeah i actually have a lot of things that i want to talk to you about i'm just gonna go do my makeup first and then come back and have a bit of a conversation with you right so my makeup is now done by the way this is the lipstick i bought in my previous weekly vlog um it's this one from maybelline and the shade is called tantalizing taupe in seven to five I'm not too sure about it now that I have it on my lips um, because it clings to like every single imperfection that I have but maybe I just need to exfoliate them and then it's gonna be all right uh, but yeah I set you down on my sofa because it's time for some serious talk actually I'm kidding I'm just gonna talk for a bit longer and I don't want my arm to fall off uh, from holding the camera so I just set you down over there and the lighting is pretty cool as well over here so there's that um, right so let me update you on some stuff that happened during the week when I haven't been vlogging. First news is very exciting. I was featured in a magazine. I have mentioned in one of my weekly vlogs that I was putting together an article for a magazine. So it's probably not news to some of you. Uh, but yeah, I got a two-page spread in a magazine, which I didn't expect. I thought it was just gonna be like a little snippet. Come from Slovenia and can get your hands on the magazine. It's called uh, Revia Zaria. Um, and for those of you who can't access it, I'm just gonna insert the PDF copy over here so that you can see how it looks like. But basically an article about makeup tips for like the perfect selfie. Now that I have this exciting update out of the way, I want to talk about this. YouTube. There's kind of three things that I want to talk about. First one is Casey Neistat's announcement about... Um, quitting his vlogs. If you're not a YouTuber and don't know who Casey Neistat is, he's basically like a number one YouTube vlogger who has been daily vlogging his life um, for the past year and a half, I believe. He's a huge inspiration to pretty much every single YouTuber out there, so it's a pretty big deal. But he is actually a filmmaker and he's quitting his vlogs to pursue something more challenging, as he has put it, I think. Because he felt like he got too comfortable with vlogs and it wasn't just challenging enough for him anymore. And it didn't allow him to be more creative and focus on bigger projects because, you know, daily vlogs were taking over his life. And I totally get that. Seriously, kudos to every single person out there who does daily vlogs because it is hard. I tried it last Christmas and I'm gonna try it again this year. Um, I'm not doing vlogmas, but I will be daily vlogging during my three week um, Christmas winter break whatever you want to call it although I will be doing something different this year I won't be vlogging and then putting out videos the next day um, like daily vloggers do but I will start putting them out once my holidays are over because I want to enjoy my holidays spend time with my family and also I am upgrading the video editing software and I'm gonna try to get a hang of it first so that the vlogs that I put out will be of a better quality I guess which brings me to my second point um, that has to do with basically changes here on my YouTube channel I've been thinking a lot about the content I'm putting out um, over the past few months and I decided to start making some changes in 2017 now that I'm upgrading the software and all that jazz really want to start producing better content from the visual as well as like thematic point of view if that makes sense. I'm planning to make a few more creative videos which maybe you wouldn't expect to see from me um, but I have some really good ideas and I really hope I can make them work not only for you guys but for myself as well because 
like Casey, I feel like I need to challenge myself a little bit because um, I've been doing YouTube videos for the past three years now and I'm just getting a little bit not bored of the content that I'm putting up but I just, I don't really get as excited about filming anymore because the content I'm putting out there is very repetitive, you know, I'm doing makeup tutorials, hauls, empties, favorites, and basically the content that every single beauty YouTuber is kind of producing on a monthly basis. And while I still will be doing that to some extent, I think vlogging, especially vlogging that has to do with traveling is where my heart is so i will be shifting things into that direction on my youtube channel in 2017 i think i'm obviously still broke so don't expect me to travel around the world and um, just do travel vlogs and stuff like that but i'm gonna try to do as many as possible and i also want to do um travel videos relating to London um, I want to do like a how to see London in one day and then I want to do like a market guide a food guide videos that maybe have a little bit of more structure and are more produced but still casual if that makes sense I just think those kind of videos would be a little bit different and a little bit more interesting to watch and maybe also useful to some people who are you know searching for tips and stuff so I hope you guys are gonna like that. I'm not gonna stop talking about beauty because it still is my passion and I probably will still be filming some tutorials and favorites and things like that but I also want to introduce some new content so that I'm excited about creating videos again. Just making plans for the videos that I want to film in January is already making me super 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 excited. So I think I'm on the right track. And like I said, I also want to do some artsy creative videos that are gonna probably take a lot of time and effort to create. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna give those a go as well just to challenge myself a little bit and bring something new to my channel and, and i'm not gonna tell you what they are yet but i guess you're gonna see in about a month now there's another thing that i need to talk about when it comes to youtube so about a month ago my views uh started dropping my videos now only get half of the views that they used to get like a month ago um at first i thought that people are just you know bored of me basically <laughs> but then pretty much every other youtuber has started noticing the same thing um small youtubers big youtubers just everyone basically everyone's views are really down right now and i think it's because youtube changed the algorithms again and they really screwed things over and while it's not about views for me like it has never been um, like I said, I've been doing this for three years and I'm nowhere near the level that I was probably supposed to be on after all these years. But I'm still doing this because I do it for fun. I'm not doing it for the views. <laughs> Having said that, it is still a little bit heartbreaking when you put a lot of time and effort into your content and it doesn't show up to people who actually want to see it. I've had quite a few people who usually watch my videos say to me recently that my videos are not showing in their subscription boxes even though they are subscribed to my channel, uh, which is very annoying because if these people who obviously care enough about my content to notice that you know, it's not there when they expect it to be. Then I assume quite a lot of people stop seeing my videos in their sub boxes and that totally explains a huge all of a sudden drop in views. So I just wanted to say if you would really like to see my videos in the future and don't want to miss them anymore, make sure to click on the little bell button right next to the subscribe button under my video that you're watching right now and just choose the turn on the notifications feature uh, because that means you'll get notified when my video gets uploaded and you won't miss it anymore and hopefully it will show 
in your sub boxes like you know it's supposed to <laughs> yeah that's my ramble for today i think that's everything i wanted to say <laughs> regarding youtube and stuff um now i'm gonna go make myself some lunch and then i'm heading up to central london and i'm really excited because i'm meeting up with aida aida is a fellow slovenian blogger she has a blog about fashion beauty travel all that jazz she's one of the best and most known slovenian bloggers her blog is literally goals <laughs> like her content is perfection and she's actually a really nice person as well which i think is sometimes hard to find in the industry so yeah she definitely really deserves to be up there you know if you come from slovenia you probably already know who i'm talking about uh but if you don't i'm gonna link her blog and her instagram in the description box below but yeah i'm gonna go meet her and her sister who uh she's visiting london with i think we're gonna go have some fish and chips there's this place called poppies um that supposedly makes the best uh fish and chips in london um i've never been there before so yeah i'm excited to try it and see if it's really that good Looks like yeah. first she goes climbing. <laughs> She's doing it for the vlog. Um. <laughs> Are you ready now? <laughs> now and i had tons of fun uh we ended up going to winter wonderland which i've been wanting to go to anyways so it was great to visit it with such great company it's basically an amusement park that is set up during christmas time here in london in hyde park it was very fun now i'm off to take a shower and i'll probably go to bed because i'm a little bit cold so i'm gonna try to make myself feel cozy <laughs> Just woke up, had breakfast, started working, and then the postman came with a package from sleep. Look at the amount of goodies that I got. I'll have a lot of new makeup to test out, but I thought I would do a little um, unboxing haul, I guess. So let's see what has arrived, shall we? We have the mineral-based Eye Divine eyeshadow palette in the shade All Night Long. Then we have the highlighting palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. Then we have, ooh, a really nice autumnal shade. Um, this is the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. And the shade is called Vino Tinto. And then we have another Matte Me product in the shade Velvet Slipper. This is the Lip VIP Semi Matte Lipstick in the shade Couture. And then another one in the shade Private Booth. A Dip It Eyeliner in black, which I'm really glad that I got because I just ran out of mine. This packaging is so nice. This is the Lip VIP Metallic Lipstick from the Rockstar Collection. Um, this shade is called Scandalous. Let me open it up for you. This is how it looks like. Oh yeah, it really is a metallic shade. I actually don't have any metallic lipsticks, but they're really popular right now, so I'm excited to give it a go. 
Then we have two more items from this collection. The first one is the Eyelust eyeshadow palette in Diamonds in the Rough that I'm also going to open up. Um, and the second one is um, a strobing souffle whipped cream highlighter in the shade pink opal. Now these are definitely my kind of shades. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. Look at those shimmers. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and the highlighting mousse is probably amazing as well. Oh yeah, look at that shade. By the way, this is how the Eye Divine palette looks like. This is the highlighting palette in the sleekest packaging ever. <laughs> no pun intended, but this is gorgeous and looks so expensive. I don't know why I haven't been buying sleek makeup. I mean, Jesus, these stuff are gorgeous. So yeah, this is the highlighting palette, which again, those shades, oh my god. And then this is the all night long palette. And we have four more products that I'm gonna open up for you. We have the Eyelust Eyeshadow Palette in Hidden Gem. The Lip VIP Metallic Lipstick in Superstar. We have another strobing souffle in Smoky Quartz. And the Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette in Fair. This is the eyeshadow palette. This is the contouring and blush palette. Um, this is the souffle and this is the lipstick. Just look at that shape. All the packaging is so beautiful I'm so excited to give these goodies a try especially after seeing those shimmery eyeshadows and highlighters Oh my god. Anyway, you're gonna see a whole bunch of sleek makeup reviews on my blog And I think I'm also gonna film a few first impressions get ready with me videos. So Yeah, let me know if you would like to see that this package has totally made my day. It is 4 p.m. now and I'm feeling so, so tired that I could go straight to bed. I don't know if it's because I had a really bad sleep two days in a row or because I've been working and basically doing 10 different things at the same time. But yeah, I finally um, took a break for my lunch. This is what I'm having, some tomatoes, some fish, um, a boiled potato. And then this here is prebranac, uh, which is a Balkan dish. And it's basically, I don't know, like baked beans. But it's like different from the English version. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to finish up this vlog because I have a feeling it's going to be quite long considering that I had a bit of a chat with you and then also did a haul. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys on Sunday with a new video. Bye!